telling you, I'm being honest, dude. I know what I was grinning, man. Go out there, my girl's probably. Yeah, we're looking for you. We're Stay coming in, okay? Me? Yeah. On January 27, 2023, officers were dispatched regarding a case of forgery and child abuse. Earlier, a FedEx employee had informed them that they had received multiple requests to print out forged driver's licenses. While investigating the case, officers found out that the alleged forgers were seen engaging in intercourse with each other and smoking while a child was present in the room. This is how the events unfolded. Welcome to our channel, Detective Diary. To ensure that you never miss out on our exceptional content, we kindly encourage you to subscribe. His name, the driver's license number is the same. Uh-huh. The date of birth are different. Interesting. So are the names. Are and then, doing, I believe? Th that same guy, th these are him correcting the other yeah, mistakes on him. And that's him correcting his name on this one. You can see he sent it, the names are better. And then this is the last guy to come in and pick these up. But this guy doesn't even have a full driver's license number. Yeah, no, definitely. And the same email is sending them. So my, my LP yeah, guy just already called me. Yeah, definitely. Do you have, uh, do you have email your license? license? Yeah. Uh, you have your Can license? you copy an OLA? The officers tracked down the forgers over a span of a few weeks and initiated an arrest. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Can't find you back. I won't be arrested. For what? Um, there's a variety of different things you can sell. You remember me, man? I took your stolen car that one day. Yeah. Can I took my wife. She's inside, man. Your wife's inside. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna knock on the door real quick. What about the kids? Are the kids in there? Yeah, the kids are everywhere. Yeah. How many kids are there? Uh, there's two there. I got three together, but there's two inside. Where's the oldest? Uh, he's with the grandparents. He lives with them? Uh, mainly, yeah, because we were the, living through the motels for a while, so he's been there. He's basically staying over there. So. Okay. You, this is the police department. You need to open the door. We're going to boot it. Ms. Bronco, we have a search warrant for the residents. Open the door. Hey, what's, what's up? Something? Can you open the door, please? Yeah. Yeah, we're looking for you. We're coming in, okay? Me? Yeah. What's Come on this way, of course. Hey, kids. Is anybody else here? Hi! Sit over here, bro. Alright. I don't know what it is. We don't either, bro. Yeah. We just showed up. Showed up, bro. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Let's check his stuff yeah. real quick. Do you have anything on you that I should be worried about? Mama! Mama, it's okay. It's okay. Mama, I promise. It's okay. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay baby. Mama! Mama! Okay, hurry up, put some clothes on. Anybody else in here? No. Okay. Hurry up, put some clothes on. Yeah, we'll be soft here. All right, have a seat, man. Uh, please, sir. Just have a seat. I'll let you know. Well, I'll let you know. Can I know something? Right. Get your shoes. Let's go. I got to pee. What is that? I don't You're not peeing here. So you're going to walk. You have your shoes or not? Um, let me see. I think they're... Yeah. Okay. Uh, Who ran out the back? Huh? Who ran out the back? Nobody went out the back. Uh, Go find him some clothes. Hey, uh, what's your name? Marissa. 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 Let's just come over here, Marissa. Okay. Hold, hold on a second. You got, you got it? Yeah, yeah she's 10 15. Oh, okay. That's yeah, so why he's coming. Tell me to call her and I have to collect evidence. Right? <laughs> 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 Marissa. 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 One of the officers explained the entire situation to the woman. They're going to come out, please. No, they're in there with the VIP detectives, and they're not going to come out. We're not going to do that in front of your children. We're going to move back to you. Call my mom right away, please. Call your mom? Yes, please. What's her name? I'm Yvonne. 
Let me lock, let me lock the hands. Please, my kids will freak out. Please. Okay, no, 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 hold on. Can I restart them, them, them by? Hold on. Yeah, hold on. Okay. We're just hanging out right now. We don't even know what's going on yet. We also have a warrant to search your residence. During the course of the fraud investigation, we had access to both of your phones. Just lean up against the car right here. I'm sorry? Because the state, the state decides that your mom can have them and do that. No, they, anyway, my, my mom is seeing my kids. Please, they, 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 they can't do it. I understand. You can't, can you tell them by? You can't allow them here. No matter No, these are my babies. Stephanie, watch them, please. Who's that? Hey, get away from that door. Get away from that door. <laughs> you want some clothes, buddy? <laughs> Thank you. You can put it over there. Who has His mom. Yvonne and Jerry. Mom and maternal grandma and grandpa. I think he's got a warrant too. A warrant for what? That's what they just showed up. The detectives oh, called us. That's where we just showed up. Because we're just here to transport you guys. doesn't have nothing to do with it. Okay. That's definitely something you want to let them because I don't even know what's going on. We're, he's checking with the dispatch to see what your warrants are for. Okay. Well, he's already telling her that your parents are an option. I know, but I know that I don't, I don't look very fit because my option is crazy. Okay. At least for my parents, please, my baby. Okay. Well, they're already asking about, do your parents have any previous CYMD stuff? <coughs> your parents don't get in trouble, never been arrested? My mom's job. She works at an MSU. My dad's on disability. He's still on disability. Okay, so school. they've never had my any, like... My stays with them, actually. Oh, okay. The, was that through CPS? No, Did they take no, your no, kid no. in? No, He just no. goes to school and, and... Over there? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's something that they're going to look as at. As long you know as you like please let me know that my kids are all right. Yeah. Uh, and this is exactly who's the person that's going to make those decisions. You know what I'm saying? So, we're going to try to... Gonna freak out, yeah. Right? We're going to try to place with your family for five days. Well... Oh, with my family? Yes. Yeah, that's what she's saying. Yes. Like, they're going to see like what's going on. No, no, no. But first, I need to try with your family. But the only thing is I need to check with your with your dad and see what that battery charge is about. And if we can, you know, if we can be okay with that or my superiors can be okay with that, then we can do a safety plan. But you would have to agree not to pick up the kids and agree to uh, drug test the kids. Could you agree to that? To pick up, not to pick up the kids? Anymore. Not to pick up the kids. If you get out tomorrow, let's say you cannot pick up the kids until you talk to me, and then you would have to agree to drug test the kids. Yeah. My warrant also covers the cell phones. All of the different Oh, my phones are gone. All the cell phones and electronic devices. We're going to have to go through that house. I'm that's just no, asking if fine. you want to tell me where they're at so that we can grab them. I don't have any. I, don't have, I have one. Phone. There's one laying on the couch. I yeah, just that saw one it. might be. Uh, I have to go Good. Meanwhile, the man was transported to jail for further processing. Can you unlock oh, the shit, door? Really? My bad. Oh, you know, uh, it's been a minute, a few years. All right, ma'am, she just finished the safety plan, so I guess that five-day thing is going to go through with your parents. Okay, so they're going to go to my mom's? Yes, yeah, so they're going to go to your parents for the five days, and then after, or during that five days, they're going to drug test them, and they're going to do all kinds of other stuff or some shit like that. They're going to see if the five days is going to pan out or what's going to happen with you. Are you going to be able to talk to that agency? Yeah, she's going to come over here. I'm just letting you know what's going on, because I know you were really worried about your kids going with your parents, so... She's gonna get you to sign a safety plan for that and she'll explain more. But I just want to put you a little bit at ease that she's gonna square that away. So when you're done with her, you'll probably go to the station so you can talk further with the lieutenant. How's my buddy, uh, what's his name? Carol. Oh. Hey, Carol. What's that? He's in the jail. Well, you'll see him right now, but he's still being booking. We're gonna no bond on this too? Yeah, that's the same. I think you guys have the same street charges. So. Uh oh, so you'll be out tomorrow? Yeah. Oh my god. Both the man and the woman were charged with possession of forged driver's licenses, forgery, contempt of court, and child abuse. Boy! On February 21st, 2023, officers responded to a domestic battery incident. The initial 911 call reported a broken ankle, but upon arrival, 
the officers found a woman with red marks on her face. They immediately called for backup and asked the man who had allegedly hit her to step outside. So they called us. Police, come to the door now! We were here one day for a 32 Supposedly he pulled a 32 out on somebody over the White House. Yeah, it sounded... Keep, keep, keep knocking, keep yelling this. Police department, come to the door now! Police department, come to the door, we're gonna kick it in. After knocking for about 30 minutes without any response, the officers decided to break in. Kicking? I'm gonna try kicking for first. It doesn't matter who wants, whoever wants to go here. I need somebody. I'll go, I'll go right behind him. I need somebody. We're gonna kick it, you gotta give it a couple seconds before. Yeah, let it breathe is what it's called. Yes. If that's what you want. You gotta light it down. Okay. Last chance, come to the door, I'm gonna kick it in. Citroya police! Last chance! Last chance! for a reason because I hurt myself coming in the house. They were acting all stupid trying to say that my there's something happened in my house. I told them nothing happened in my house. I was grilling. If you look at the grill right there, I was trying to get it in my garage, dude. I fell over. I hurt myself. They were like, who hurt you? Who hurt you? I told them nobody hurt me, man. You don't do this to Kelly and Travis? And I called on them multiple times. We're not today. talking about Kelly and Travis. I We're sure did. I sure am because what I have a serious problem here. Nothing? All right, I already got enough. All right. Okay, so you have an ID on? No. Okay. It's Is this my mom's phone? Yeah. So Was she in here? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, Lisa, it's okay. Just relax, all right? All right. They called y'all. I don't have to listen to nobody. I'll tell you what the f happened, man. Okay, okay. It's on camera. If you look over there in my garage right there, you see the red light? There's a camera. There's no reason for y'all to be doing this, man. We were putting our f kids to bed when y'all are banging on our f door. There is no reason for me to come in the door because you guys shouldn't be in my f house. Period. Period. No, I'm not going nowhere, dude. Dude, what the f man? 
just be cool. Hey, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, listen. And take me this way. My, my okay. bank was you. swollen. All right. These want to take me to the hospital because they were like trying to say that my wife had something to do with it. Okay. All this blue shit. Oh, you, 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 you want to have a seat? You want to have a seat? Yeah, yeah. man. My okay. leg's broken, right. dude. My ankle's broken. Okay. Put me on the porch over there, man. We're not going to the porch. I can't sit here, dude. My legs hurt. Chair, yeah. Chair will be good. good. There is no. Put me on the porch, dude. What the? We're not going back over there. All right. So, what happened to your mouth? Your eyes. Okay. All right. But that's not what you told EMS. So that's why we're here. I didn't tell EMS anything. He hurt his ankle when he stepped off the step. Okay. That's why he called. Right. So he called on that, right? So when they come in here, I have EMS. I, ha I have EMS saying they saw you and you said and you told them that they hit you in the face. They never came in my door. So they saw you and you said he hit you in the face. Why would I say so that? all you have to do is knock on the open up open up the damn door and listen to me and we will talk to you. But now we have to go through all of this because we now have to check your well-being to make sure he didn't somebody didn't get in, in here dead. That's why we're in here. I have two kids here that wouldn't happen. My wife got home less than oh my god dude. Y'all are up hard, brother. Y'all are up hard, brother. Crackhead next door, up, doing all this dumb shit, and y'all are over here with us. Really? Car. In the car. All right. We're gonna go to the truck, okay? Dude, man, look at my ankle, bro. Gotcha. We're almost there. We'll get you a seat. Oh my God. Can y'all at least let my wife? Get, get, think you can have my wife come talk to me, man? We got some things to sort out first, then we'll go from there, okay, man? Oh my God. Oh my God. Even the. Neighbor knows you, man. She's your girlfriend, isn't she? No. Yeah, she's over here saying that she's your girlfriend, bro. I don't know why she. Oh, 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 oh my God, my ankle! Oh, oh, oh my God! Oh. Push me up, bro! Oh my God! Oh my ankle's going sideways, bro! Oh, it's all up, man! Oh, thank you. I got you, right thank you. Oh my Whoa. god! Oh, 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 oh. I got your leg. It's your leg is sturdy, okay? Oh, oh, oh. Slide your feet in there. Oh, oh. We're gonna close this way. Dude, man, okay? what the f am I going? What, what do you got me in here for, they're man? Gonna, they're gonna come talk to you here shortly, okay? We're just gonna close this way. Did you have my wife come talk to me? Some of you guys. We'll, we'll go see what's going on, okay? Oh, watch, my watch, god. Your head, watch your head and knee. The man denied any wrongdoing, while the woman continued to deny any physical abuse. <laughs> Right. right. So when he tells us that you beat him too, then we'll just take you both to jail. I didn't. The whole side of your head is swollen. I'm fine. The whole side of your head is swollen. I fell. No, I fell. Okay. So you're going to serve me like a promise? It sounds like you're going to say, Oh, I don't. It hurts. One more step. Let's go. Push through it. We're almost in there. Ah! I'm lifting this. So. No. Barely. Hey, watch that, Tom. Ah! Ah! Is right? Ah! I got you. Bring it up. Just ah! Ah! Not yet. Ah! Wait till we get him in the cage. Right. Come on, dude. Y'all are really gonna take my kids and wait here. It ain't nothing to do, man. Y'all are y'all are taking your job in a different way, man. She had nothing to do with nothing, man. I told them to go in the room, dude. Oh, come on, give me a second, brother. It hurts. But also, I would tell you to kill. No, we hit anything. Okay, well, why is the little girl's face slow? She's crying. She nobody hit her. Guaranteed, nobody hit her.
goes. Outside. It's a belt. It's a belt. That's not a belt. Those are brass knuckles. All right, outside. No, there's an attachment for a belt. Can I get shoes? You can. I'm telling you, I'm being honest, dude. I felt when I was grinning, man. Go out there, my girl's probably still started, man. I was mad, man. The ambulance came and started talking I'm sorry about that, dude. Turn your hand. I'm sorry that they got upset about what the I told them. I told them to off. That they had no reason to be there. And I, you called them. I called them to help them. Actually, when they came, they started talking about it. And there was nothing wrong with me, dude. My leg is swollen and shit. Right in there, pussy. We started fighting about that. with the, I started fighting about that with the pigs. That's when my wife showed up with JoJo, who gave her a ride from work. JoJo's a veteran, man. Are you supposed to step out? Yes, ma'am. Appreciate you asking. Well, I don't want you to hit me or something. That wouldn't occur, ma'am. Right up there. I'll be right out. Shortly after, the man was taken to the hospital, and one of the officers interviewed his son. What the son revealed came as a big shock to the police. It sounds like your sister told him something about what happened. So she clearly can articulate what went on. Did you see it? Yeah. So what happened? I didn't see who started the fight, but yeah, there was a fight. I didn't see who started it. Okay. Was, was your mom home all night? No, she came home from work at like nine, nine -ish. So did you know your dad called an ambulance for himself at some point? Yeah. He okay. claims I broke his leg. He claims you broke his leg. Yeah, that okay. was me. <laughs> Did you? I'm not gonna lie about it, that was me. I, I'm the one who made his leg like that. So what happened? All right, they were in the kitchen. Somebody who, started a fight. Who my was? Mom, my mom and my dad. Well, the leg happened before they were home? No. Okay. I'm gonna write down what you're telling me, okay? Because I don't want to mess this up. Yeah, they were in the kitchen. It's your mom and dad. Okay. So then what happened? My dad had went over there with him and like, from there, I wasn't really paying attention to what happened. I just know the fight started. And... Like physical? Yeah. And you saw that they were physically fighting? You could hear it, and at a point I got up and I saw it, yeah. So my dad went in there with her, or you went to the kitchen? No, I didn't go to the kitchen. I was okay. in the living room and I had looked over there and yeah. So you went to the living room. What did you see? I couldn't really see it because, like, my mom was on the floor behind the counter. Because, you know, you can't see back there. Okay. And my dad was standing up. I'm gonna guess that you were protecting your mom. Yes, yeah, what was I assume, so. to help her. 
So. So my mom at, was screaming for me to help her. Yeah. At a point, the dogs were barking so loud that like I just told him to stop. Like. Told your dad to stop. Yeah. And then like he told me not to get involved. And then I stood up right because like he was coming towards me. He put both his hands around my neck. I pushed him towards the dog cage. He fell on. Me. And then he like pushed back and we were like fighting for a while. We ended up in the hallway where he tried to drag me down on top of him and I landed on his leg, so that's what happened. Okay. Yeah. Or do you guys continue to like he tried to drag me down with him. He was like trying to swing. So he me would, down he was falling and then No no he, oh. he I was in front of him. He was like backing up and then he tried to grab me and like slam me down, but he was falling with me. I didn't fall. I like kneeled on his leg. Okay. To an extent, that's pretty illegal, isn't it? Well, I'll, I'll explain it to you. I'll explain it to you why we <laughs> like, do that. Without a warrant, I'm pretty sure you can't do that. Well, you, you can. Well, if you have probable cause, yeah. I have it. Okay. <laughs> so, so anyway, we show up. Did he say anything? Like, I'm not letting him in, or don't anybody say anything? Yeah, he or, told us to like, all be quiet. The whole reason tonight went down the way it did is because we couldn't make contact with anybody. And we've got EMS workers telling us that you told them that he hit you, that they saw visible marks on you. So when we can't make contact by somebody coming to the door, we have to assume the worst. And you, if you watch the news, you know it happens every day. Thankfully, everybody's okay. But you've got kids in the house. I know. Mr. Joshua here is 18, but he's still your child. Always will be. Always will be. And our job is to protect you. In the state of Illinois, it is this is the one type of thing, domestic battery, is the one type of issue where you don't have to cooperate for us to press the charge because we're here to protect you. The man was subsequently charged with domestic battery and resisting arrest. What did you think of our video? Please share your thoughts on our video in the comment section below. If you found it enjoyable, we encourage you to like, share, and subscribe to our video. Thanks for watching.